ready to start a vlog. I'm in a rush to go somewhere. But hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Keanu Montilla, and I'm back at it again with another video. And of course, today's video is going to be a vlog. So if this is your first time coming across my channel, definitely subscribe if you would like to. Interact with your girl down below in the comment section. Talk to me, and I definitely do talk back, as well as be sure to give your girl a thumbs up. So right now, I am rushing off to this work luncheon, which started at 11.30, and it's currently about to be 12 o'clock. So I'm definitely running late, especially for someone who did not expect to be down there all day. So let me quickly show you guys what I have on so I can get out the door. So my outfit, I literally just threw together. So I just have on this jean jacket, which is from Target. Dress, which is from Target. Y'all saw this in my little Target try on video. Shoes are from Walmart. Bag is Telfar. Jewelry is just my regular regular jewelry that I'm always wearing all the time. So nothing too crazy. And I bought me some um, slides because I am going to get a pedicure. So yeah. <music> They basically uh, just got started because the food literally just arrived. So, honestly, I'm happy that I'm about to arrive there at 1230 because Lord knows I really didn't plan on staying the whole entire time, especially because it was supposed to start at 1130 and end at 1 o'clock. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, there's also like a presentation or something that they're going to be doing, but I don't know. I'm just going to show face because you know you know how work is but um after i leave there i need to go pick up a order from bsw i wanted to stop in at old navy as well and um like i told y'all previously i need to go get a pedicure and i need to go get my eyebrows done i put on my um press ones yesterday so I'm actually pretty happy how they came out now my right hand some of them nails is a little crooked but you know we're not gonna talk about it okay <laughs> it looked decent for what it is but I definitely will check back in with you guys once I leave the luncheon and head to all my other destinations so. I'm so hot right now so I do apologize if y'all hear the AC but I'm just about to leave my job and y'all I got a little $15 gift card to public so I'm definitely about to use this and I also got a rewards plaque um because it's my one year anniversary and they gave your girl a little shout out for all of her hard work so I definitely do appreciate it so now I'm about to leave and go get my thing Giving me some eyebrows. She be giving me some eyebrows. Like, don't play with my girl. All right, you guys. So I am on the way to DSW so I could pick up my order. Um, honestly, I'm not about to go to Old Navy any longer. Like, I wish I was able to just go there a little bit earlier during the day. So, um, I'm probably just gonna wait until a little bit later on next week and go to um. Old Navy. I don't think I ever got around to tell y'all, but it's Friday, so happy Friday. And um, after I leave DSW, I am going to go to Total Wine because I've been wanting to try On The Rocks, which is like this pre-mixed um, cocktail. They had it at Target, but I could not find it. Like, it's not sold at any Target near me, so I'm going to just have to go to like a bigger um, liquor store. So, yeah. I'm gonna try that out because I've been wanting to taste it. I saw that Dollface Lyric was talking about it as well as I am Ashley Monique. She also talked about it on her channel and they both tried the Cosmopolitan, but I do see they have like some other flavors. So I think I'm gonna pick up the Cosmopolitan one and they also have this like jalapeno type flavor. So yeah, we'll see. And then I'm just about to give me something to eat and I'm about to head home because your girl is tired. Like. 
I'm running off of six hours of sleep and coffee. So, um, yeah, peace out. to see y'all all day honestly i feel like my day was wasted but i'm not gonna get mad over something i cannot control i was supposed to be doing like a sponsored youtube video today but one of the items that i was supposed to be talking about did not come in my package so i just had to reach out to them hopefully they respond to me within a decent time frame and ship out the item so that i could film the video for them because yeah I wanted to do that today because I just have so much stuff going on the next couple of weekends that I really just wanted to knock it out. But I can't control the situation, so it is what it is. So I just did my makeup anyway because I needed to take photos for a thumbnail for another um, video that I edited. So we did get something accomplished today. Girl, it's definitely getting natural tease. It's giving natural teas. I love it. So yeah, I need to show y'all what I got from DSW yesterday. And honestly, y'all, <laughs> that on the rocks. Oh, I'm all over the place. That on the rocks had me on my ass. Your girl was toe up from the flow up. So if you want to get drunk, definitely get that. Okay. <laughs> so really excited to wear these shoes i got some shoes from adidas a young lady uh had these on on tiktok in one of her styling videos and i had to cop them y'all look at this gum bottom so fly especially with like the light orange detail love it got it in a size 11 because y'all know my foot is flat and wide so i felt like getting a size 10 may like be too small but i can't wait to wear these they were originally like 69 dollars but um DSW was having a sale for like 20% off. So I got it for like 55. So I'm real excited by those. Those are too cute. But just in case, you know, tomorrow morning I'm in a rush because I'm always in a rush. Um, I wanted to tell y'all as well that I'm going to a meditation retreat tomorrow with my friend Erica. My therapist um, actually is like doing this retreat. So I'm super excited. She invited me and then I invited my friend Erica. So I was like, oh, so tomorrow's going to be like a little Sunday fun day. Hopefully we're able to grab lunch or something after because I've been wanting to go to like this daiquiri bar. So if Erica can't go, I'm going to still go by myself because I'm going to be out in the area anyway. So might as well just go check it out, see what it's about. But yeah, I just wanted to come check in with y'all. I'm actually feeling myself right now. I think this wig looks so much better with my makeup done because before I was not feeling this wig because 18 inches wear, this is giving me a good 14 inches, 12 inches, even curl. It's giving short. They lie. But anyway, you guys, I'm also go make me something to eat and probably pour me a drink and watch the shot. So <laughs> peace out. Hey, you guys. So I actually have some time to talk to y'all. I just finished with the meditation retreat and it was beautiful. Like it was beautiful. Before going to the retreat, I already kind of had like a little moment because I was feeling like really heavy. For some reason, I was watching the last episode of um, P-Valley and just the line that Uncle Clifford said when he was like, Grandmother Ernestine did not drink the water. And especially that part where um, Corbin Cow, that's his name, right? Yeah, Corbin Cow had brought the water to him. Um, it just kept resonating in my spirit. So I already was like having like a little moment early that morning, or early this morning. And um, like I was crying and I was praying and I had already kind of asked God just to like heal my heart. 
And so like when I went to the meditation retreat, I didn't have like any type of expectations. Like I was just really going there with open arms and understanding and just a lot of stuff was released and I felt really good and very comfortable. And I was telling my therapist, you know, like the first thought that came to my mind is just being happy to be in a space with beautiful black women, beautiful black people. And then like my message that I received was just to keep moving, you know, and it's times where like I just really like sit in a lot of negative energy or like I sit in my thoughts and I just dwell in that energy. And I had to like just ask for forgiveness for myself and like others who have done harm to me unintentionally or intentionally. And um, all I'm going to say is like a lot of release happened. She made us like pick um, some cards and the card that I chose just basically said that my life works beautifully. And that just meant so much to me because sometimes I'm just like, why is this not happening to me? Like, or why is this happening to me? And sometimes like, I don't give like credit to the life that I'm currently living. Um, you know, sometimes I don't have gratefulness to the life that I'm currently living because the life that I'm living, like, some people like may want to have that life and i'm wishing i didn't have it and what's crazy is like my life is not that bad you know what i'm saying like i'm not going to like not acknowledge any traumas that i may have gone through because you you never compare your traumas to other people's traumas because everybody has gone through a trauma whether big or small um but i just had to realize in that moment in time that like my life is significant and like there's space for me like in this world like for a reason like God has me here for a reason so it was just a really beautiful experience and I'm so happy to have partook in it and um just met some new young ladies and talked to you know different people and hear their stories and stuff of that nature so unfortunately it started raining <laughs> And Erica totally forgot that we made plans, but it's cool because our group chat thread just be going like back and forth. So we didn't really get on like a clear, concise page as to like if we were actually going out or not, because at first we were supposed to be doing breakfast, then we were supposed to be doing lunch. And it was just a lot going on. And I knew um, Erica already had like some other plans already. So um it's fine so right now i actually did like a target drive up order so i'm gonna go to target to pick up my order i think i'm gonna just give me something to eat like on my side of town and then um i'm just about to go home oh i want to go to ota too while i'm out and um i'm just about to go home so yeah i just wanted to come in and check in with you guys and let y'all know how the retreat went of course i didn't really like record in there because it definitely was like a safe um and sacred space and i, I definitely uh would do that again and i'm actually gonna really start meditating because i think previously i never really used to meditate because I thought like I was not supposed to have any thoughts at all and that like my thoughts were just supposed to be completely silent, but that's not how meditation works. <laughs> um, so yeah, when you know better, you do better. But I'm gonna chat with you all a little bit later. Real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Big Birkin bag, hold five, six figures. Stripes on my ass, so he call it pussy tigger. Fucking on a scamming ass, rich ass nigga. Same group of bitches, ain't no ass to the picture. Drop a couple rice, right, watch his ass get thicker. Drinking on licking, I'm licking at your nigga. If it's money, why eat it? Eat it like a I had to do a whole U turn because I totally forgot I need to pick up my Target pickup order. You see what happens when you don't stick to the plan of what you're supposed to be doing? going to Target, going to Ulta, and specifically picking up what I had on my list, and then going to Bath & Body Works. Like, I went to Bath & Body Works because I wanted to get, like, a little car freshener because I never had, like, one from Bath & Body Works, and I wanted to give them a try. Then I got in there. The candles was two for two. Yeah, buy two, get two free. 
and I got to the register and the girl was like 60 something dollars and it was only four items. Hey y'all, I'm back home. Let me quickly show y'all what I picked up for today because I'm just about to relax and start getting into some more of my shows. So I told y'all I went back in Body Works, literally only walked out with that car scent because I had to put them candles back. This inflation is ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I get for not checking the price because I don't know why I always associate Bath & Body Works candles with being $12. And that's probably because I always buy them when they're on sale and never at the regular price. So I picked up the Renew and Refresh car scent and I think that was like $4.50. Then I just picked up the holder, which was $5.50. So yeah, I didn't spend that much at Bath & Body Works. Because I was not about to pay close to $100 for some candles. No. Um, so I need to get my car wash before I put that in my car. Then I went to Ulta. Y'all was only supposed to go on Ulta for three things. Three things. Why did I spend $7,702? Another $100. Just ridiculous. So... I picked up this product by The Ordinary. This actually would be my first time trying it, but it's a glycolic acid 7% toner solution. This girl on TikTok was saying that uh, she has been putting this under her arms and she no longer wears um, deodorant. And another girl stitched the video and she seconded it. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try it out. I'm going to be the test dummy because I sent the video over to my mom. <laughs> She was like, nah, you go ahead and try that out. So I'm going to try it and see if it works. If it don't work, I'm going back to my deodorant. But that was only $10. Then I picked up this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And they are saying that this is similar to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So I just wanted to try out like a cheaper alternative. And that was, how much was it? $10 as well. Then I got the Black Girl Sunscreen. This one is a spray. I actually have been using a spray sunscreen by the brand Tint. I do have the regular version of the Black Girl Sunscreen, but I wanted to try the spray out because uh, I really, really love that Hint sunscreen. It smells just like pineapple. It's like so refreshing. And that was... $15.99. And mind you, I was only supposed to be going to Ulta for those three things. Those three things only. Then as I was browsing around, I saw this Ulta Beauty uh, Jelly Gloss Lip Gel. This is in the color Starfish. And I think this is just like such a pretty nude. And that was $9. Listen, that's going to be my first and my last time. And I'm going back to the beauty supply store for my lip gloss. So that was a lot. Then I picked up this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Red Velvet. I hope I don't have this color because I have the tendency of picking up colors that I already have. And that was $5. And I picked up my old trusty LA Girls um, Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. I was looking for, I think it's called Beautiful Bronze. I like to get that to contour with and they didn't have it, but it's whatever. And that was $4.99. Then as I was headed to the register, I saw that Miss Kylie Jenner had um, put out this plumping gloss. And the model was wearing the shade Bubbly. And when I tell you her lips look so good, and it was a black, it was a black model. And her lips look so good. I was like, you know what? Let me let me try this out. Let me try this out. And this is how it looks. It's just like kind of like a clear gloss with like a little bit of glitter um, in it. They had this other color that I would really love to get. It's called Neutral. But unfortunately, like, it was cleared. It was, like, cleared out. So, thankfully, I was able to snatch up this um, bubbly one because it was cleared out. And that was $17. So, Kylie Girl, that better work. But anyway, guys, I probably will not check in with y'all until sometime later this week because today is Sunday. And I have work tomorrow, so I'm going to check y'all later. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you today? Hello. Can I please have a venti iced vanilla chai tea with matcha foam? 
you said menti iced chai tea latte with vanilla sweet cream foam. Oh no, you said with vanilla sweet cream foam with matcha inside of it, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Anything else? And may I also have an impossible breakfast sandwich? Of course. Will this complete your order? Um, and in the chai tea, can you just put two pumps of sugar-free vanilla? Sure, just one moment. So I'm trying a new drink. I don't know if y'all can see it. Probably should have never got a venti because who's to say it actually tastes good? But the girl on TikTok said it tastes good. So it's a venti iced chai tea latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam with matcha in it with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Well, I just added the two pumps of sugar-free vanilla um, for taste. Maybe I should mix it up because right now I'm really only tasting the chai. It tastes good. Honestly, I think the matcha is more so just for decor and aesthetic purposes because I don't really taste the matcha to be honest. But I'm just out the house really quickly, just running a few errands. I just dropped some things off to Goodwill because I've been working on trying to declutter. Like, I need to declutter my space. Um, so I did that. Just came to Starbucks really quickly. And then now I'm about to just head to Publix just to grab, like, some snacks um, and just go back in the house and continue working. Are you gonna be that you're gonna be Tell you what I did last night I came home say Hey, what's up, y'all? Hopefully y'all can hear me because I got the AC blasting and I also got this portable fan going because I'm so hot. It's like 94 degrees outside. So right now I'm all done up because I'm getting ready to go take some um, content photos for this brand sponsorship. By the time this video goes up, the brand sponsorship will actually already be up. So yeah, I've got a brand sponsorship with Cider, which I'm just so excited about. It's like my first big collaboration. Um, you know, I previously had like a brand sponsorship with Shape LOX, which was like for shapewear, but I love like fashion, I love clothes. So to do like a brand sponsorship with a brand that caters to plus size clothing and sells plus size clothing, like I'm just about to be super stoked about that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm headed to do right now. I got like an extra pair of like clothes and everything just to kind of like throw on after because I really want it to um, go to the Asian grocery store because I want to get some Korean corn dogs because I've been craving them. But I just really don't want to have to worry about uh, going somewhere and getting them fresh. Like, I just want to. Um, get the frozen kind and like throw them in my air fryer so that's what I'm about to do after this but I just wanted to come check in with y'all it's Friday again <laughs> by the way so yeah happy Friday and I shall talk to y'all later I just finished taking my photos I don't know how the girlies do it I sat and reviewed them we got the shots those are the ones that we don't work with but it is AF. Hot AF. But y'all, I don't know if I told y'all, I got my camera back. Your girl got a brand spiking new camera. They sent your girl a brand new camera. Got my camera back, y'all. We back in action. <laughs> but let me go ahead and get out of this garage um, so I could be on to my next destination because it's hot out here. My skirt dropping on my i
Place that I go to, the tea is like much sweeter. The milk tea is much sweeter. Y'all, I'm back from the Asian grocery store. My makeup looks a mess because I have my mask on, so half of my face done rubbed off. But I just want to do a small haul to show y'all what I got. So I really went in there for the Korean corn dogs. This one doesn't have a hot dog in it, it's only mozzarella. While I was in there, I saw the mama noodles. A lot of people always talk about these noodles, so I wanted to grab them. This is the artificial chicken flavor. I got a Ramon. I think this is, um, I'm going to assume it's lemon flavor. Usually it has the flavor name on the back of it, but I don't see it. So, yeah. And then I just got some mochi. This is the Juicy Mango Mochi Sherbet. So yeah, that's it for me. I did not go to Old Navy. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think I'm going to go to Old Navy until like next week. Because tomorrow's about to be Saturday and I just really don't feel like leaving the house. And I'm probably not going to leave the house until Sunday when I go to the spa. So I'm going to just take my time tomorrow to pack up my little spa bag. Because last time I went to the spa, I was not fully prepared. But this time I shall be. So... I probably won't catch you guys until Sunday. So, peace out. Uh -oh. It's me saying I wasn't going anywhere and I'm going somewhere. I'm just going to Target to um, pick up my quarter. It's just a drive up order because I don't really need to be going inside these people's store. Um, yeah. So I'm going there to pick up my order. But they canceled like half of the order. So I do need to go to CVS and pick up the Jergens Instant Suntan in the color Deep Bronze. Because I had wanted to try it. I saw all of Melanated Girls trying it. And some of them was like using it like with a glove. And I didn't really want to go through that like step at first. But then I am... Um, I'm going to just say Ashley, but her channel name is I Am Ashley Monique. She um, was like rubbing it on like a lotion in one of her previous vlogs. And she was like, it didn't stain her hands. So I was like, uh oh, I'm going to put it on that way. So I want to take that with me tomorrow to the spa. And then from Target, I literally. I'm so lazy. I did a drive up order for some gum, some soap, and a travel toothpaste. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really do not be feeling like getting out of my car. Like, if I don't have to, I don't want to. And on top of that, like 99.9% .9 of the time, this is how I look. Like, I don't know what type of heat this is. I was wondering, so I don't know what type of heat this is, but it's hot. Like, I just want to be naked. Like, if we could be in times where we could, like, walk around the street naked, I would love it. I would love it because I would not put on no clothes. Why did Eve have to eat that apple? Because I would just be butt booty naked walking around the street. Like, I don't care. It's too hot. I barely like putting on clothes as it is. But anyway, guys, I'm just coming on here to ramble and let y'all know that I lied and I'm outside. So I found what I was looking for at CVS, right? It's definitely much cheaper at Target, but whatever. Anyway, I don't know if I'm crazy, but while I was in TJ Maxx, I had a hurt. No, why am I calling this place TJ Maxx? CVS. While I was in CVS. You know, I don't know. I might be a little crazy. But every time like I stepped into the beauty section, it went off and was like, oh, we have been alerted of your presence. Blah, blah, blah. Like, if you need any assistance, please let us know, right? But I did not hear that go off when someone of a non-melanated complexion stepped into the damn aisle. 
But I don't want to address the conclusions. Y'all tell me, well, I don't even know if y'all have CBSs in y'all area. But if y'all have a CBS in y'all area and y'all experience that, let me know. Because I know I'm not crazy. And like, mind you, every section that I stepped into, like in the beauty section, it said the same thing. But it did not say that for nobody else. Am I crazy? Good morning, beautiful people. So your girl is headed to the spa on this beautiful Sunday. Like, super excited. So I'm actually going to the Essentia Wellness Spa at the Nobu Eden Rock Hotel. Um, that was such a long pause, but I was just trying to pay attention to traffic. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to the Essentia Wellness Spa at the Nobu Eden Rock Hotel on South Beach. I'm actually meeting Ruthie there. We're supposed to meet at 10. It's 9.48. Um, but I'm going to go to Starbucks really quickly to get some breakfast. I know we're going to do like lunch and stuff there, but... I need to give me something to drink from Starbies and probably just give me like some egg bites or something to hold me over because our actual massage is not until 12, but I know we're just going to try to like enjoy some of the spa amenities first, um, then get our massage and then like go to lunch and then go to the beach after. So basically it's just like a full like Sunday, fun day, girl day type situation. This is actually my first time um, meeting Ruthie. So yeah, we were supposed to get together like, I wanna say like two or three years ago, probably a little less than that. Um, Cause I know when COVID hit, I did go to her drive-through baby shower that she had and dropped off something for her twins. And then she just had her little boy not too long ago so it, it's been a while since we were supposed to get together but we're finally getting together um she also has a youtube channel so i'll definitely drop her information down below so you guys can go check out her youtube channel as well over at ruthie songbird and then i'll definitely like come back on camera and like introduce her Hopefully she's vlogging today for her channel. If if not, I'm going to make sure she vlogs so she can have some type of content um, to post. But yeah, I'm just going to Starbucks right now and then just about to head over there. So I'll chat with you guys later. just looking at some photos that I took on my phone and I totally forgot to put back in my second nose piercing like it came out in the shower and I forgot to replace it with another one but it is what it is
our day. Happy Sunday, y'all. Y'all, this is Ruthie. I'm going to link all of her um, information down below. Make sure y'all follow her. We're at the spa. Let me put my phone away because we ain't supposed to have phones. <laughs> to go change her shoes. Mind y'all, she was rushing me. Cause as y'all can see, your girl did a whole outfit change. I was doing this little two piece set, which I saw when I went to um, the Dominican Republic in the same day this week. So yeah, just waiting on her so we can go eat. I'm gonna just wash this wig. I don't know why I didn't wash it like back to its more natural curlier state because I think that just would have did a little bit better with the heat than this hair because right now your girl just looks like a lion. 
But anyway, I am back home from the spa. So the Eden Rock, I'm going to give them a seven. Probably like a little bit less than a seven. And I think it's because like I was comparing it to the Caroline. And of course I was comparing it to the Caroline because that's the only other spa that I had ever gone to aside from just going to like Massage Envy to get massages monthly. And so my expectations for the Eden Rock, especially because it's associated with Nobu, like it's the Nobu Eden Rock Hotel. And so my expectations was like a little high and they were burst, they were burst. Um, massage was good. I did the hot stones included with it. That was good. So basically, I, mean, I don't even think I told y'all, but it was Miami Spa Month. So Miami Spa Month was from the beginning of July to the end of August. So next week is basically the last week of Miami Spa Month. There's also Miami Spice as well that's going on, which started beginning of August, ends in end of September. And that's for like um, discounted restaurant services at different restaurants in Miami. So, um, yeah, so the package for Miami Spa Month was $139, so we got the massage. When I got there, they were saying, like, there was additional specials that they had, so I added the $35 special for the hot stones that comes with a complimentary champagne. So, massage was good, hot stones was good, champagne was good as well. I guess for me, like, I'm just very big on customer service, and customer service was, like, a little bit off-putting to me. Um, and I would have hate to have been staying at the hotel and experienced that type of customer service because it just could have been like a little bit better. Um, valet, like they see you pull up, like there's just no urgency about anything. You know, there's no urgency. There's no greeting. Like, like this is like a $200 plus service. Why am I paying y'all $200 plus service? Y'all already including y'all tip and y'all gratuity into everything. And y'all not offering like no type of customer service. Like, um, and then on top of that, none of their additional amenities in the spa was really working. Like the sauna did not get hot. The steam room was not working. Like I just was it, basing this experience off of my time at the Caroline and Essentia Wellness Spa, y'all felt me. Y'all felt me. Y'all felt me. Like, uh, y'all felt me. And on top of that, like, at the Caroline, they give you access to the beach. There's, like, no upcharge. Like, there was no upcharge at the Caroline. You get access to the beach. You get access to the beach chairs. And you also get access to the umbrella. When we asked for, like, um, when we asked to get access to the beach, like, they let us get access to the beach because they was asking us, like, do we have a pass? Because, like, I was telling um, Ruthie, from my experience at the Caroline, I got a key. So I could buzz myself into the elevator. I could buzz myself into the spa. Like, I could buzz myself onto the beach. I could buzz myself back into the hotel. And, like, they didn't really, they didn't give us, like, a key. They just gave us, like, um, like a little card or whatever. But it wasn't, like, actually a key. And so, but that card specifically wasn't even a spa pass. That card was for um, for us to just get our 10% when we went to the restaurant. Like, to get 10% off when we went to the restaurant. Um, so, yeah. We asked for the, the beach chair or whatever. And we also asked for the umbrella. So, then the guy was like, oh, it's $35. And so, then, like, I was asking Ruthie just to be sure, you know, if she wanted to do a beach chair or um, in an umbrella or not. She didn't really want to do the umbrella. So, I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Then he was like, okay, we'll do you $20 for the umbrella, but you have to pay it in cash. So, when he said that, that just kind of made me think, like, um, are we even supposed to be charged for this umbrella in these chairs? Because... How you went from 35 then down to 20 talking about, oh, we could give it in cash. And then when I told him, I was like, well, you know, I don't have any cash. He was like, oh, um, he was like, oh, well, what he said? He was like, oh, I, I'm, I'm new here. Like, you know what? <laughs> that just pissed me off. I didn't even want to be like on a beach no more. That literally just threw my whole vibe all the way off. Like from that, I was just like ready to go. So... The food at the restaurant, it was the Ocean Club, I believe it was called. No, Ocean Social. 
one of those names. Ocean Club, Ocean Social. I think it was Ocean Social. Anyway, one of those names. The food at the restaurant was good. The drinks was good. <sighs> Overall, I'm going to give it a seven because the Eater Rock is a very older hotel. Like the outside looks old, but the inside looks very modern and up to date. But like I said, I'm very big on customer service. And I just kind of was like basing my experience off of when I went to the Caroline. And if I'm paying like for a $200 plus service, I want to go to a spa where every single thing works. Like, why am I going to the spa and not everything works? Like, no. But yeah, that's all I had to say. But anyway, guys, I'm going to close this vlog out so I could just take a shower and just kind of relax and finish watching um, Miss Pat. I done got into that show now. So yeah, I'm about to close out this vlog. So if this is your first time coming across my channel, thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you would like to. Make sure to interact with your girl down below in the comment section. Talk to me and I definitely do talk back. As well as be sure to give your girl a thumbs up. Peace out.